And we're back with awesome shoulder pads. Shoulder pads. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, last time we got the uh, the various suit and whatnot. And now we're going to get another item that's not... It's like better and not better and... <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's really useful, but like the concept of it is just kind of like lame when you think about it. Real quick, do we get different colored suits in this game? I forget. Uh, yeah, there's a purple one and a black one. Oh, so we don't get like the the the, the hot greenish teal, crazy color, like um, '90s, toxic. Nine? No. You know, like in uh, Smash Brothers. Oh mean, no. Oh, That's no. not in any of the games. The really? green one, I don't think. No. It's not green. I'm sorry. I said green. I meant teal. Like it's like it's oh, like this that, blue. Oh, that that one's that one's only in uh, Fusion. Oh, uh, okay. I like that one. Yeah, Fusion <laughs> has all the weird colors. It's. The most colorful Metroid game by far. Okay. I like that one. That's like my favorite suit. Like, I look at that suit and I'm like, oh, I just want to roll around in that. All oh, right. Yeah. So. Ooh. Oh. We got a little little maze puzzle thing. We got to oh, do right. a double jump. So adorbs. So adorbs? Yeah, you're like a little ball just bouncing around finding stuff. We got an energy tank. <laughs> that used to be one of the most difficult things for me to get, but now I'm just like, yeah, I'll just go Ooh. and grab it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, now we're all good. All of good in the hood. And, uh, okay, so what are we getting? We're getting a thing? Yeah, we're getting an upgrade to the Morph Ball. Oh. Uh, and we're going to a new area to get it. I feel like you should get attacked in this elevator. Like, right here. <laughs> like, to, like, like, all of a sudden, just like a, a snake crawls out of it. And it's like, that would be a little horrifying. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I feel like a game like this should have a certain level of terror to it. Ooh, we're going into the ice. Yeah. All right, so we've gone to the, the, the plants. We've gone to the fire. Let's go to the ice. Covering all our tropes. Yep. Is there a candy tropes. level? A candy level? <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Although I wouldn't put it past, like, Federation Force or something. <laughs> Stupid Federation but, Force being all... I kind of want to play it because I, I, I know... I, I, it looks bad, but I haven't tried it. And so... Okay, that reminds me of Ice Climbers, what I just saw there. Oh, I can scan it from over here. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't totally sure. I kind of want to try Federation Force just for the sake of, like, okay. Like, it looks bad, but do I actually personally think it's bad? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, because I... Okay, those guys are from Ice Climbers, right? Yeah, kind of, yeah. Okay. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, I, I, um... Like, I... I tried looking at Federation Fourth with like a, a open mind or whatever, <laughs> but you didn't want your brain to fall out, so. You but, said no. like the the more I look into it, the more I'm like, this just doesn't look good. <laughs> Do you own it? You own you own a lot of games, so I'm not sure. Uh, no. Okay, you own a lot of games you haven't played, so I'm like, is this on the? <laughs> yeah. Okay, just wondering because I was like, if you own it, I think we have to actually just play like a one shot of it at the very least. But okay. <laughs> well, there's there's no way to uh record it. It's on 3ds only. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Unless you want to buy me a 3ds capture card, they're only like five hundred dollars. <laughs> yeah, I'll pass on that. Yeah. <laughs> I might buy you a t-shirt or something, but uh, <laughs> that's a little... <laughs> oh no, the thing's coming out of the ground. They're going right, to kill us. So... <clears throat> I just choked on air. I don't know how that happened. So so we're going to the ice. Um... Oh, yeah. let me take a guess what the boss is. Since considering I remember nothing. Uh, it's a polar bear. But no, there's no, there's no polar bears in Metroid. Uh, it's a worm. Worm? <laughs> like a, a big snake. No. Oh, like with a, okay, it's a. All right, one last guess. Uh, panda. <laughs> you know what? It, the, that's the closest guess. Okay. Is the panda. <laughs> They're not bears, so don't try pulling that crap on me. Uh, <laughs> looks like little candy canes there. Um, Come on, scan it. Chozo. Silly Chozo. They, they're like, we're going to colonize this planet and then abandon it. Yeah. Are those <laughs> they, those little ice that. ice spinies are too cute. I want I want to buy one like as like a toy. Yeah. Oh, you know what's really hard to find? Or at least when I went to the Nintendo store in New York, was they had no... Stinking fox, I mean, uh, Star Fox plushies. 
they yeah. had Pokemon that nobody gives a crap about. They had like side characters that, um, like of Mario, like they they had Mario like Mario C list characters that like 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 okay, I like Spike personally, the the the, the little green guy that throws spikes. All right, mm -hmm. but I understand why nobody else would want that toy. <laughs> right? Yeah. Like, there, I I believe there should be a Fox McCloud plushie at the Nintendo store before Spike. All right? I, I will admit that. It's, it may disappoint me, but I... Uh, uh, mentally, I you know, there should at least be a Fox and a Falco. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. It, Nintendo doesn't like using logic. They're, <laughs> they're like, this character is really popular. Yeah. Let's get a side character as a plushie instead. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, and that's the thing. I mean, I, I would just... And I don't mind having the little dumb characters that nobody cares about, but yeah. you should at least have a fox and probably a falco. And they didn't. And I wanted to get a falco... Uh, I wanted to get a fox from my friend uh, Roger, and, I, like, I ended up getting him, like, a Yoshi or something. I don't know. I got him something, because I was just, like... felt like I had to get him something. And it was just like... Ugh. I was like, I don't know. <laughs> it was just, I just thought like the one place in the world I could get a fox plushie would be a uh, stinking Nintendo store in New York. And they're like, nope. I asked them, you know what I mean? I'm like, do you guys have fox? We have an amiibo. I'm like, I don't want an amiibo. I can get an amiibo at Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. Oh, uh, where, where am I going now? I got a, oh yeah. Yeah, I remember now. Still a little rusty with this game. I, I did a bit of practicing, but I still... Like, sometimes I just don't know where I'm going, what I'm doing. And, you, look, you might be able to find a Fox plushie online, yeah. maybe, but I wanted to get it from the Nintendo store. <laughs> yeah, that would be... Like, retail is more convenient sometimes. Well, I just wanted it to come from the Nintendo store. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I wanted it to be a little Fox from Cloud that came from the Nintendo store for my friend. Like, so it would come from the... Like, I know this is stupid, and it's it's like a like irrational thing but it's like he came from nintendo store yeah like yeah instead of uh, like some uh, weird third party thing or whatever yeah that's, 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 that's all i'm saying Ugh. anyway sorry about that didn't mean to go on a rant there all right so that was a pretty long rant about <laughs> uh fox plushies yeah so okay so we're we, so we're in the why are we back in the lava i thought we were in the ice yeah we just had to go and get this uh upgrade here and now we're going all the way back to the landing site where our ship is. <laughs> uh, little lobster. What does he do when you're big? He's, oh, ah, Cthulhu! Flame... Cth flame... Flame Thulu? Flame Thulu. More of a worm than Cthulhu. <laughs> I suppose. I just imagine it like one of his tentacles. I, nobody can see this, but I just did the thing with my arm. Uh-huh. Um... Oh, you can bounce off the lava? Or did it hurt you? No, I, I was just using the jump ball. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forget you can do that. Uh, yeah, you can only do it in the Wii version. <laughs> He's like, I'm going to eat you. Haha, <laughs> 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 uh -huh, not today, worm. All right, so we're going in an elevator. Yeah, we're going back to the uh, Talon overworld. Okay. Where we get the best, most helpful upgrade ever. The butt warmer. Yes. <laughs> Dude, like the car that I, uh, one of my, the work vehicle that I have, um, has like heated seats. Uh -huh. It's really weird at first getting used to it, but it's kind of nice. <laughs> the the weird thing is, unless you have leather seats, like if you have fabric seats, you don't really need a butt warmer because oh, you don't need it, but it's nice. Yeah, <laughs> I don't need a Mega Man T-shirt, but I bought one. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you're gonna put it that way. <laughs> Yeah, this this area is kind of weird to do with like the limited jump we have right now. We've got to upgrade that jump. Upgrade that jump, yo. Get her some. What, what is it? Boots. Boots, yeah. Yeah. We're gonna get, we're gonna get the space jump boots. Got to get our girl some nice boots. All right, so ooh, the plant. I'm gonna. Is this poison water? Oh no, you cleaned the water. Yeah, I cleaned the water. Ugh, the water is clean. Get it through your head, Trevor. Water is clean. The water is clean. So, I just. I feel like I kind of wish they went with theming on this, where like you fix the water and then you fix the earth and then you fix the air, or something. I wish they they did theming on that. They didn't do theming on that. Uh, not really. No. Oh man, because that would have made that. Oh cause, well, you're gonna blow up the planet at the end, anyways, right? You're Samus, right? <laughs> well, we blow up something at the end. All right. 
But I just feel like that would have been cool. Like, you fix the planet, and then the Chozo come back, and they all live there, and they're happy. Uh, <laughs> no, the Chozo don't come back. <laughs> Lame. Hey, well, Nintendo, I'm rewriting your story so it's better. <laughs> why would the Chozo come back? Because you fixed the planet and got rid of the Phazons. <laughs> but that's not why they left. That's why they left this planet, but not the whole dimension. Well, uh, oh, oh, well, I don't know everything. All right, uh, the, this you're telling me there aren't some Chozo that like hung out and didn't leave. No, the they they all ascended to a higher dimension. All of them, like twenty years ago after Samus got her training done. Yeah, like like after like, like there's like, no like ten of them kicking around. Uh, <laughs> nope, not as far as I know. That's lame. That's the, the, I don't believe it. <laughs> There's gonna be a handful of Chosa who are like, I'm not ready for this, or like, we don't want to do that. I, I no, I don't. Sorry, Nintendo. You can tell me they didn't. I know there's a handful. There's always a handful of people who aren't ready for change that are kicking around, and they should come back to this planet that's phase on free after Sam has purifies everything and the butterflies fly everywhere. Okay, we're at 11 minutes. Yeah, and that's my fan fiction. <laughs> That's uh, better than most fan fictions involving Samus, I can say that. Yeah. She's a lovely lady, and you guys should treat her better. Yeah, guys. Treat, treat, treat her better. What, what, are you, what are you doing with these fan fictions? What, do you, what do you think you're doing? Get off that fanfic.net.